living living in Portugal, there's a ritual, which is um, we on Sundays we always gathered around a large table, um, mostly composed of friend, you know, family and some friends, and it was um, it was almost like the highlight of the of the week. You know, everyone would prepare. My grandmother would bring some amazing, put some amazing dishes on the table. My father would help. Everybody would go into the kitchen, and it'd be one of those sort of like a four or five hour lunch that goes into dinner, and and, and it was it was um, it felt like a celebration. It was it was it was for me it was uh, perhaps the, most of my memories of childhood are like sitting around a table. This is why I've I've always you know or for a while I've been I've been really. Um, thinking about developing a concept that is built around the table. Because I feel like in a city like London where everyone's so busy, it's so hard to gather enough people around the table to create an experience. So to be able to sort of update now with, you know, fast forwarding 20, 20 well, fast forwarding from, from that age until now um, and seeing how I've learned a lot about food, I've traveled, I, developed as a chef to be able to bring that and um, and put my those experiences into a project such as Maus it's been a lifelong dream. Maus means um, yes means hands in Portuguese um, I think there's there's several meanings to it in a sense I mean because Maus is you know something that you know that we touch it's very tactile I mean if you look at the textures here if you look at where we are our environment it feels very tactile you know um, it's also you know that's how we work we work with our hands so the gift of passing things from from my hands to yours and to our guests that connection is is a is, is very personal um, and again you know and, and because you know the sensitivity the sensitivity that we have in our hands I think also showcases in the food Most of our get well, a lot of our guests <coughs> refer to this as almost like a, a dinner party, or um, some of them will think back at the you know their childhood and their their memories of sitting around a table of family and friends. So yes, so there is we tried to um, to bring that back, but you know in a slightly more polished way. But we also wanted to capture to take to really capture the guests' imaginations and really get them to see the backstage, um, you know. Show kitchens, I mean, there's, there's plenty of them out there, you know what I mean? But usually there's a pass and you can see, or you know, or there's, there's, there's a back place where everything's happening and there's, there's a little show kitchen where things are finished off. You don't really see really the action and you can't really just walk through like we can do here. So that is, for me, that's, that's, a, that's an exciting part of this project is the fact that the guests as they walk in, they can actually like go straight in, up up to the Multani and see like you know what's that? What are you cooking? You know, it's not like they're they're like oh there's a nice suite over there. There's something that's happening over there. No, they they go in, and they ask questions. We sometimes we sear things, we carve it straight for them. If they want to try something, they um, you know there's it's very interactive and it's very um, I think it's fun like that. And I think it breaks down those barriers of what dining the form the the formality that sometimes comes with the food that we're offering here. I mean, the Molteni is, it's an amazing showpiece to work with, with such a tool. I mean, I think every day we, we, you know, we come in and we see it. It's like, you know, it, it reminds us, you know, how fortunate we are and what, what an amazing, you know, what an amazing tool we have. Cooking is all about the right tools. If you start with the right tools, then you can produce some very, very good things. If you start, with the wrong tools, you have to work much harder. You know, we have all these other smaller pieces of kit, but that's the, the workhorse, but an amazing workhorse, right? You know, with amazing performance. Um, and that's, that's the one that we rely on the most, you know? And I think that if we were stripped out of that one, I think that's, that would be definitely the one we would be crippled with, uh, without, without having that, that tool available to us. The menus always draw from our experiences, our dialogues, uh, where I'm from, where our team is from, um, products that we love, techniques that we love. 
But we also wanted to do something a little different. We wanted to create, we wanted to have a menu that is free. We didn't want to say, well, we're going to be Portuguese or we're going to be Japanese or we're going to be whatever. I mean, we, we, we try not to, I don't think we have a label. I think, I think, I'm not sure how we, I never actually thought about it, but I don't know how we would call ourselves, you know, in terms of like, you know, where would, you know, what are we? Are we Portuguese? No, we're not. I am Portuguese, but, but the menu is not. Um, are we Japanese? No, we're not. But we, we like Japanese products. Are we British? Yes, 100%. <laughs> like, we have, most of our product is actually um, British and growing in small farms, you know. So where are we? I mean, we're just remote.